Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's wig was sent to me by Trendy Tresses, so we're gonna go ahead and spice her up a little bit. Now, they sent me one of their ready-to-wear wigs. Now, there is seven different wigs in this collection, um, and they went ahead and sent me Milan, so that's who we're gonna be working on today <laughs> but this came with this little booklet but it didn't come with an info card so i don't know exactly what type of hair this is or what type of density um but this is a close-up look at the hairline as you can see you can see a little bit of those knots and um i'm gonna just say right now it's labeled as a ready-to-wear wig if you don't have a problem with how this hairline is looking on you like this straight out the pack then then you're good to go you can just cut the lace put her on you know but um for me the hairline was a little dense and i hated seeing those little knots i wanted it to look as natural as it possibly could so that's what we're going to be working on today and as you can see right here this wig is definitely big head friendly trust me on that even after filming this video and you see the final install um I've installed this wig two more times since filming this and I've cut off even more lace just so that um, there's not as much wiggle room in the back so that it actually hugs my head. So I'm just letting y'all know right now it is definitely big head friendly. This is what the curl pattern looks like straight off the bat. I'm letting you know right now after that first wash the curls look so much better than what they do when they come straight off the pack. Now we're going to get into bleaching these knots so we're gonna take a little spray bottle and brush the hairs out of the way this is gonna help prevent any bleach from getting on the actual hair strands and having some blotchy hairline <laughs> so don't skip that step at all um and like you can see right here this is what the hairline's looking like and it's a little uh too square so we're gonna go ahead and use the 30 volume developer by ion and the bw bleach by clairol and also don't forget the gloves because honey you don't want bleach on your skin now the trick with the bleach i'm gonna let you know right now is you want it to be thick okay thick with two c's bitch um you're gonna mix it carefully i slowly added developer because i didn't want to have it too runny and not have enough bleach like you want the consistency right for this trust me this is the second time i've ever bleached knots and i've already learned hella quick from the first time of accidentally getting it too runny and messing up my frontal so <laughs> just learn from my mistakes you want it thick look it's not even dropping so make sure it's thick um and i don't know how many times i'm gonna say that word but anyways <laughs> you're gonna lay your unit down and again make sure all the hairs are out of the way if your unit has started like drying and the hairs are like going crazy just spray it down a little bit more and brush that hair down now one thing that will be very helpful is grabbing like a plastic um knife this will help smear the bleach onto the knots um, a lot easier and more evenly instead of it being kind of inconsistent when I'm smearing this I'm gonna let you know right now I'm not pushing too hard on the unit because what happens when the bleach starts developing is it I, the only way I can describe it is like it expands like it gets kind of foamy looking and bubbly so that's what's gonna help bleach the knots and not the actual like hair um, so you want to be very gently, gent you, you want to be very gentle when you're doing this process. Um, and then for more of the inside crown of the unit, I went ahead with the brush because it was just easier to get in those areas. And then I went back in and from this angle you can't really see, but I'm standing behind the, the unit just so I can see how much I need to kind of push through and make sure all those knots are getting hit with those with the bleach so um just take your time with this this is what it looks like once the bleach is fully covered 
and as you can see right here the bleach isn't really going through right now so what's gonna happen is within the next like 40 minutes or so however long I left it um, the bleach like I said it starts expanding and that's when it's gonna start hugging those knots so I tried to show you guys from this angle but it does look pretty fluffy and almost like a whipped cream type of texture once it's done developing and it's hugging all of those nuts hiding them it's hugging all of those knots woo, and hiding them so that it's gonna make it look a lot more realistic and just from bleaching those knots to me it looks like the hairline already looks a little bit more natural compared to what it looked like straight off the box now to rinse off the bleach and shampoo and condition our hair we're gonna use shimmering lights as well as the keratin oil shampoo and conditioner so I'm taking some lukewarm water and I'm rinsing this bleach all the way out don't worry if you know the bleach gets on the hair because you're basically neutralizing it with that water and then I'm just taking some of that keratin oil shampoo and giving it a good scrub on the inside of the unit as well as the outside definitely around the hairline what you're doing is rinsing out all the bleach all the residue and all the chemicals from when it the wig was actually processed um, so that's what I'm doing right here and then right now I'm just looking at what the knots look like making sure they look really good um, and here's a close-up look at what that hairline's looking like. You can see oh, there's a little bit of orange undertone from where the bleach was. So what I'm going to do is neutralize that and knock it down. So we're taking the shimmering lights. Um, it's basically for blonde or silver hair. It just It's similar to a toner, but you don't have to go and get a toner. Just use this. It takes like five minutes to do. Shampoo it. And it will really help knock out that orange tone from the bleaching process. Now, on the directions, you can leave this on for five minutes and then rinse it and repeat if you need to. And that's definitely what I did. I did this process twice just because once I rinsed it the first time, there was still a little bit of orange undertones in there. So I just went ahead and applied some more of that shampoo and let it sit for another five minutes. And this is what the inside looks like. You definitely want to make sure you're adding it on the inside of that cap as well. Now after the five minutes, I went ahead and rinsed it with um, lukewarm water as well. And now we're just going to start the deep conditioning process. This is just going to help keep the wig nice and soft, fluffy, healthy. So what I'm doing right now is just adding some warm water to the sink and then adding the conditioner. I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my unit. I'm not sloshing it around in the sink. I'm literally going to just drag it down the hair strands just so we can prevent tangling. But let me just tell you the way the curls looked after that deep conditioning i was obsessed it looked so much better than what it came like out of straight out the pack i'm just to let you know right now and the luster on this hair honey it was so beautiful now this is what the knots are looking like after everything's been done definitely looks a lot a lot better um and honey just look at the look at the frontal the scalp bitch yes so after that process i went ahead and plucked some of the hairline just because like I said it was a little it was still a little too dense for my liking even after that bleaching process so I went ahead and did that if you want a full video on how I pluck frontals um, let me know I'll do a whole separate video on that but this is the amount of hair I plucked and this is what she's looking like after and honey that before was busted crusted dusted in the after like Oh my god, bitch. I'm obsessed. So, um, that is exactly what I do to bleach my knots for my frontals. Um, definitely makes a huge, huge difference from beginner wig wear to, you know, that intermediate level. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.